What is up, everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. I got some food. I um, came to Sonic, and then I realized that I don't have a video to put out tomorrow, which will mark my eight years of starting YouTube. Um, and you know, obviously, my journey hasn't been like a lot of other YouTubers. There's probably YouTubers out there with like, you know, one year or two years and have blown up and um you know have a lot of subscribers i don't i've not been consistent obviously um and i kind of switched my content i was supposed to be vlogging with this channel and mixing it up with like unboxing and stuff like that but you know it it turned into just my really my my soccer boots cleats shoes those videos kind of just kind of took off more so I kind of decided to just kind of um, go that way um, with this channel, and you know, I've I've reached a decent decent audience. Obviously, having two subscribers for me um, is a lot more than what I would have thought I would have had. So that's good. Um, do I wish I had more subscribers? Of course, not for not to be famous or not to be money, but I want to know that what I'm doing that I'm reaching. Um, uh, audience of people who actually are interested in the information that I give them and since I really like shoes obviously having this channel stay with that was the way to go and I do kind of vlog on another channel and where I put you know unboxings and of like sneakers and that stuff on that channel um, so and that's been a slow um, growing channel as well and I'm okay with that it's fine obviously you put in what you, you get what you put in um, and that is totally true um, so, I mean, hold on, let me show you guys what I got for you. So yeah, bear with me, this video is not going to be an unboxing, although I do, I did order it for all of you that are interested in uh, my unboxing and stuff, my, my football boots. I did order the, the New Holland Nike Phantom GX2 in like this beautiful red colorway, and that should be coming in tomorrow, and you know, I don't think I would post, get that video worked and all that and posted on time so i'm gonna take my time probably for the next day and that's why i'm just doing this a little in my car you know enjoying i got this burrito from sonic this fat fat burrito um and yeah and i kind of just want to talk about you know my little youtube journey and, and and things like that um while i eat i really don't like hearing myself chew or eat so i don't know i hope this is okay Hmm. One thing I don't like about the burrito, that initial first um, bite, where it's mostly like tortilla. Usually I pull that off, but then I'm like, I'm just wasting food. So I didn't this time. Yeah, anyways. Um. And then I got fries. Because they have tater tots in them. I'm not a huge tater tot fan. So, yeah. It's a weird combination. But it works. And so, um, yeah. My YouTube journey, you know, I wish I would have a million subscribers by now. Um, but that's not the case. And so I upload when I can. Um, it's obviously not a job for me. It's not something that I get paid to do. So, um, you know, funding, funding myself uh, when I started has always been a struggle, you know, because um, you got to invest your own money. You got to put in your money and everything costs money, whether it's equipment, whether it's, you know, if you're doing unboxing or stuff like that, you know, all that, all that takes money. So um, it's, it's kind of hard, you know, when you grow as a brand, you become a brand so you can kind of you know reach out to things and people reach out to you and that's how you grow obviously people knows um uh, but yeah so we're doing that i've had to take a step back and this is for all the people who uh, watch my videos for uh the football boots um i have started recently before when i first started i wanted to keep everything i wanted to keep every shoe um that was just you know i just thought i had to but going forward now I do return a lot of um, the, the, the stuff that I buy just because I've kind of 
realize that there's no point in keeping everything. Um, really, because I only play once a week now. Before I was playing sometimes three times a week and I was practicing and you know, I could rotate my boots and actually put them to use. And now, you know, I, I just don't feel the need to be collecting all these boots. So I've returned a, a good portion of the boots that um, you guys see on the channel. Um, and, you know, I'm starting to get to the point where I only buy to review. I'll get like the new one of each model, basically, unless it's like a really cool colorway. Um, but other than that, I just keep hold on to like one model. The first one usually, or if I get a blacked out pair, that's the one I keep, or it's just a really good colorway that I have to have. Um, but for the most part, you know, I return a lot of the stuff. So that's just kind of behind the scenes, you know. I'm, I no longer want to have a huge wall, which I still have. I have so many now, so many boots. But I can't really wear them. And I have some in boxes that I haven't touched that I need to, that I've been trying to um, slowly uh, wear. But it's taking a long time. Um, and my point is just to let you guys know that my videos, I guess, aren't necessarily for me to brag that I got the new the newest model in or, or, or the newest colorway. But it's more just to let you, the first time buyers, or the people not sure or are scared or nervous, you know, to spend a lot of money on something new that they maybe they only wore takedown models, which I don't even like that word takedown model because it's not a takedown if that's all you can afford. If that's all you can wear, that is, you know, that is your elite boot. Um, so it kind of, I don't like that they started doing elites and takedowns and these type of names like I wish they would just keep, you know, names for for all their boots and not call them elites or, or takedowns. So, so, you know, my information is not for the people who are serious, you know, buyers and who buy every model. That is totally fine. If that's what you do, if that's what you want to do, mm, that's great. Um, but remember, when you're watching your athlete every Saturday and Sunday, your favorite football star, every Saturday and Sunday, you know, they, they get their, they, they're given their stuff. Sometimes they don't even want to wear what they have on their feet, but they're just told to. Um, we see the controversy with Cristiano Ronaldo even, you know, he didn't even want to change to his uh, newest uh, super. Um, he even cut the collar. I don't know what that's for. I think he started cutting the collar again. He has stopped doing that. And either that was like because Nike doesn't want to create a special um, boot for him anymore, uh, which people are assuming. But I don't, I mean, he's like a lifetime Nike athlete, I think, if I remember correctly. So he's not going anywhere. Um, but people want to make up stories. So, you know, he cut his collar. I think that was more just he wasn't happy with something, possibly. Um, so he probably did that as like defiance. I don't know. I don't think it's because he wanted it, really wanted it shorter. Because just wear the Mercurial Vapor, you know. Um, if you really want to be, if you really want to make Nike mad, I think he would just show up with some vapors and say, "I'm not wearing the the Superfly anymore." Um, so yeah. So my reviews and my videos that i put out are for like the new people coming in you know who are you know maybe high school kids or or just you went through life and you're like you know what i want to get me a, a good pair of boots or expensive pair because sometimes the good pairs aren't even have to be the elite type boot so um i would always recommend not knowing now doing this like the Copa Mundial is probably the standard boot. It is heavy. I get it. It just sucks also that the price has gone up. Like, I swear I've seen them for like 180 before you get them for 100 under $100. I lucked out on some uh, at my outlet a few years ago before the craze, I don't know, of like no more kangaroo leather. And I got them for like $40. And so now 
They're just way too expensive. But if I, if you had to, if you were coming into this, not knowing a, a boot or shoe to to get, and you want something that's gonna last you, and money is a issue or not an issue, it doesn't matter. Buy that boot, and I swear it'll last you forever because it's kangaroo leather. Um. Yeah, it's it's a little heavy, but I mean, I, I really feel like you don't even feel that once you start playing and, and, and you're warmed up and everything. If you if you never tried a, a, a light boot, I don't even think you would tell the difference. So, yeah, you know, I wish Nike had something like that, but they really don't. Their TM, their Premier, sorry, their Premier, they say it's not even leather anymore. I don't know. Um, but it just doesn't hold up. It's not going to hold up. You know, it's it's a it's a light boot. It's a, it's a modern uh take on a old version so i mean if you can put if you can uh, wear those and not care if they're gonna rip and get another pair then that's fine i would i would go with the premiere but for something that's gonna last you and you're really probably gonna get your money's worth always go to couple mundial i mean when i show up to my league you know most people have those and and they look beat up but they don't rip they do not tear on people and they hold up from what i've seen so huh That would be the one that I would say to get. Mm. Just because it's gonna last you. But yeah, so what I'm saying here is I'm, you know, don't keep up with every boot or try to buy every boot because me, I'm not even doing that as a content creator or someone who wants to make YouTube videos. And you know, I'm okay with that. Um, it doesn't bother me and goes back to say that i've been doing it for eight years and i should have much more subscribers but at the same time like i'm not trying to keep up with a certain trend so i know my spot and i know my youtube place you know because of that and i'm okay with that so as long as you know i get a few of my subscribers to come back and watch you know and are happy with that that's all that matters to me you know my views are down they have changed everything on youtube and now it's like you got to interact with your audience and they got to leave comments and they got to do this and that so it, it it does make it hard for our smaller youtube you know community to even get big and not only that even big time people that i watch youtube people like have trouble with people not commenting so and they need the algorithm to help them out so in a way, I guess, mm, blowing up on YouTube is going to be a little bit harder for people. So, if you're in it for money or or for fame, it's probably not going to happen unless you're like very, very popular, very, very quick. Um, you have to just love what you do and do what you love. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. So, I'm almost done with this now. And I'm going to hit home, so. Just wanted to give a little update. It's coming up my eight years. Hopefully I'm still doing this by 10 years. Um, but if you remember the video that I posted, if you haven't watched it, you know, it was uh, Kobe's last game. I had started um, working at Nike. Um, I started working at Nike. Um, and yeah, that was just my first little, you know, vlog and something that I thought it was gonna be much different for me, but it hasn't been. And that's okay. I mean, that's really life. You know, I don't know. I guess I started dreaming a little too late. Um, but here I am and, you know, I can't change that now. Well, I mean, I can change some things, but I can't go back and do what I wanted to do. Anyways, that's a whole nother video. But I'm happy where I'm at. And, you know, I just want to try to improve and keep getting better. That's all I can do. Um, so thank you guys for watching. There's going to be more reviews. Um, like I said, stay tuned. I have a special one coming soon and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.